Good morning, my friends. Welcome to your sleepy morning yoga class with me, Celeste, here on Udaya. As you can see, my students behind me have got a bolster underneath their legs and they're already getting into that complete chill out zone. So I'd love it if you grabbed your bolster or a big pillow and joined us in the same position. It's all about being super floppy and relaxed. If you've woken up today and you're like, oh, I'm so tired, how am I going to do my yoga practice? Then I think this is such a great class to start your day with because I'm going to lift your energy a little bit and I'm going to get you just feeling nice and loose and free in the body. But it's also just a 20 minute class, so it's not going to take a big chunk out of your day. In that lying down position, I want you to start noticing the flow of your breath. And then see, for the next three to five breaths, you can just breathe a little bit deeper. Very good. Now let's do this. Put your left hand on your heart center and take your right hand onto your belly. If you feel that your elbow has to lift to get your hand directly on the center of the chest, just let the elbow stay nice and low and the hand slightly to the side. I want your arms to be relaxed. So we're going to create an awareness exercise now just to get the mind waking up a little bit more. Although it's very prominent, the breath, right? You can feel the movement of the breath, it features. See if you can notice your pulse. Now the pulse is very subtle. Because you've, hey, you've just woken up. So it's not knocking any loud or loud at all. But of course, you know it's there. The mind is searching that sound or that sensation of the heart out. Now go back to your really big deep breaths and notice if the pulse or the rhythm of the pulse shifts at all as you breathe. And especially notice the rhythm of the pulse on your exhalation. Great. Now let the hands float away from the body. And I want you to bend the knees so you're dragging the bolster or the pillow really close to your bum. Your heels are kind of shifting it in towards you. Take your right hand, grab hold of the bolster, and then just pull the bolster out to the side. Hug your knees into your chest and give yourself a little wiggle side to side. Feel yourself massaging your whole back into the ground. Let those sway side to side gradually become a bit smaller until your body settles into the middle. And then put your right hand on top of the right knee and the left hand on top of the left knee. And what I want you to do is draw clockwise circles so both of the knees are moving in the same direction. And I want you to focus on your lower back as if there's a circle around the sacrum, the lowest part of your spine, and you're drawing a circle with the floor, helping to massage any of the connective tissue in that area. Do one more nice big circle going all the way around, and then do the same circles the opposite direction. Good. 
Great. Let the legs just come into the middle now. Open your knees out to the side and then reach around and grab hold of your ankles. So it looks like butterfly position, but you're reaching and grabbing hold of your ankles from the inside. That's it. Perfect. And just pull your feet in nice and close towards you. Good. That's it. Just keep the head relaxed on the ground. If that's tricky for you, you can always pop a bolster underneath your head or a pillow. As you pull your feet in nice and close, imagine your knees are being pushed away from the shoulders. So you're creating an even bigger diamond. Inhale. And then exhale, close the knees and slide your hands underneath your knee crease. And I want you to start rocking up and down, up and down, like you're massaging your back into the ground. So you want like a circle. And do about two more of these little rocks and then come all the way up into sitting. Balancing on the tailbone, just let the feet stay lifted. This is probably one of the most simple balances that you can practice because you're low to the ground, you've got a big surface area, but it's really good for getting the brain to start switching on. Let's start stretching both legs forward. Inhale, stretch the arms up. And I want you to exhale and just put your hands on your knees. When you wake up in the morning, something called your neural tension, those are all the little nerves from the legs up into the brain, they're very, very tight. So I want you to put your chin on your chest and just slide your fingers forward a little bit. So it's less about stretching muscles and more about feeling that funny, twingy feeling that your nerves give you, especially first thing in the morning. And you don't want to take it too far. Nerves are easily irritated. They're very sensitive structures. So this is just about going a little bit down into your range. And then I want you to take really big, deep breaths into that sensation. The most important thing is that heavy head. The roundness of your spine. So I know very often when you're doing Paschimottanasana, this forward fold, it's really important to keep a straight back. But right now I want you to do something a little bit different in your body. Just remember this is less about the muscles and more about the nerves. And if you feel after the first few seconds, actually that initial twingy feeling is not there anymore, maybe you can take it half a centimeter further forwards. Take one more breath, and then with a heavy head, roll up, floppy arms, chin is on the chest until you arrive all the way up into sitting. Draw the left knee in and put the sole of the foot against your inner thigh. Take your right elbow to the inner leg and use your left hand on the top of the leg to give you a bit of a push and a twist. If you find that this pose is quite stiff in your body, keep this left hand on the left knee to give you the rotation. If you feel you've got a bit more space, stretch that left arm up and over towards the front of the room. Think about spiraling the palm of the hand down to the ground and then imagine your arm is being pulled to the front. Inhale. Exhale, melt forward to the right leg, both hands stretching forward to the ankle and the whole body is just melting down, everything is nice and heavy. This one is a little bit more about your hamstrings waking up. So instead of focusing on a very round spine, imagine your chest is being pulled forwards to the front of the room. Stay here and what we're going to do is we're going to inhale and lift the chest up halfway. And now imagine your spine is a wave and you're gonna exhale and melt down, 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 down a little bit deeper. Final breath, heavy head rolls you all the way back up into sitting. Change legs. Left elbow inside thigh. Right hand can be on your knee and giving you like a little push, kind of sending your chest into rotation towards the right. If that feels like it's okay and you want to do a bit more, take this right arm up and over to the front, turning your palm down to the ground.
whilst you do this, have a nice soft jaw and a nice relaxed feeling in your face. For the last two breaths, really stretch your fingers out as far as you can so even your fingertips are getting involved. And when that last breath finishes, melt forward to the straight ankle and just bow down. Remember, we're working on a slightly different feeling in our spine this time. So keep the hands where they are. I want you to look forward first. Now slightly arch your back as you inhale, lift the chest. And then as you breathe out, go a little bit deeper. Two breaths. Roll up with a heavy head and floppy arms. Great, now just sit in a comfortable cross-legged position. And what I want us to do, so just cross the ankles, really chill. Take your left hand onto your right knee, right hand behind you, and just twist around from the tummy muscles. So you feel really strong in your belly and it's pulling you around. Inhale to the center and change sides. Beautiful, bring yourself back. From here, transition your body weight forward into all fours. Lift your hips up into the downward facing dog. Have a little cycle through your legs, bend and stretch your knees. Now step the right foot forward in between your hands. And I want you to turn both feet to three o'clock. So your back foot's going on the outside of the little toe, a bit like you're doing a side plank. Your front toes are turning out. And I want you to bring your hip and your whole, the whole outside of your leg just straight down to the ground. That's it. Circle your right arm around the right leg. And I want you to imagine that the shoulder on the left is lifting up to the ceiling so that the whole body on the left side is completely relaxing down to the ground. So this should be a stretch on your side body. Some people have to play around before they feel it, so don't be afraid to move. If I slide my foot further back and I lift the shoulder up really high, I get even more of a stretch along my ribs. So instead of the body being straight, it's very round at the bottom, yeah. Basically, we're breaking all the alignment rules in yoga, okay? <laughs> Everything you've ever been taught is now out the window. Great. So I'm gonna face the other way so we can all get this transition together. What you're gonna do is put both hands at the top of your mat you're going to swivel around to the front like you're in a lunge and you're going to keep swiveling so you're facing James and Masood and you're going to end up in a straddle. So if you bring your foot across too much, it's going to be in the wrong place. So just slide it a bit more to the top of your mat. That's it, perfect. Flex your left foot to the toes point towards the ceiling and just feel your hips sinking down nice and low. And I want you to bring the right elbow to the inside thigh and then press that inside thigh out to the side. That's it. Now, if your heel's off the ground, it doesn't matter. I just want you to stay forward with the body. Take one more breath. Breathe out. Cool, maybe for the morning that was a tricky transition, wasn't it? <laughs> All our brains are like, ah. <laughs> Walk your hands over to the right foot so you're at the top of your mat. Step your right foot back into plank. Send your hips straight back into downward facing dog. Great, step the left foot forward between your hands. Turn onto the outside of the right foot. So now both feet are turning towards nine o'clock. Nine o'clock this time, exactly. Bring your right hip down to the ground. And think of keeping the arms straight, but letting all of your ribs just fall out. If you get there and you're like, eh, I don't feel it, have a little wiggle, maybe push forward with chest, rotate, slide through the leg, think about pushing lower with the hip, 
until you find that spot and you're like, wow, then just hold. <laughs> Okay, here comes our waking your brain up with a crazy sequence in the morning. Look forward to the front of the room, place your palms flat. So it looks like you're going through a lunge, your feet come parallel to the top of your mat. Keep that left foot nice and solid underneath your knee as you turn your feet and your hips and shoulders now face the right. Bring your left hip down to your left heel. If the heel is up, that's cool. As you get more openness, you can start working on bringing it down. And use your left upper arm to send the inside thigh behind you. Flex the right toes to the ceiling and hold it here. Inhale. Exhale, melt a little bit deeper. Just one more breath. Very good. Now shift your body weight forward to the front of the mat again. So your palms are flat either side of the left foot. Your feet are parallel. Step your front foot back into plank. And then just lie down on your tummies. And we're going to come into elbows underneath the shoulders like a sphinx. So you're going to slide your fingers forward and get your elbow right underneath you like that. So you're doing a little baby back bend, nice open through the chest and just open through your collarbones. Lovely. Now bring your hands underneath your shoulders, lift your hips up into downward facing dog again. Start to walk your hands backwards towards your feet. Keep your feet parallel and hip distance apart. And we're going to use the weight of the body to sway. So if you have something right behind you, just slightly move it out the way. And we're going to keep our hands low, but we're just going to sway side to side, really floppy arms. The idea is that the more floppy your arms are, the more you're swaying them inside their joints. That's it. Now settle into the center, relax, and just shake your head, yes. So it's like, it's like the weight of the head is what's shaking, yes. Relax into the middle, and now shake your head, no. <laughs> Beautiful, relax your head into the middle, keep your chin on your chest. Take a full breath in. Open the mouth. <sighs> Inhale. Now with a very heavy head, you're gonna start rolling up for five. Chin on chest, really floppy. Coming all the way up into standing. When you arrive, transition your body weight onto your right foot and bring the sole of the left foot either high into your tree pose, or if you're not there yet, because you've just woken up, keep the foot low in your tree pose. The idea is that we're just waking the brain up a little bit by taking a balance. Place your hands into prayer and hold. Then raise the hands above the head. Slowly bring your fingertips all the way down, change sides. Left foot solid, right foot high or low. Hands in prayer. Fingertips up. Great, hands in prayer at your heart center. Step the foot down to the ground. Good. Just for the last 10 seconds, raise your arms above your head. And just so you get really, really awake now, you're gonna go and then inhale. And again, two more. Inhale, last one, 
Good. Hands together in prayer. Commit to having the best day ever. Namaste. Love you guys. <laughs> Namaste. And thank you to James and Masood for keeping us company with such beautiful music this morning. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>